evening. You all right? Hey, Arthur. Well, as can be expected. All right, for some. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh... Who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> But if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least he's got a roof. With the oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. All right, boy. Yeah. Eat this, boy. Follow me. Yeah. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the fella told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. No. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again, right now. Of course. Here we are. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. There it is. And I don't see no escorts, neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said, wait for my lead. This is a robber. 
Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit! U.S. Marshals, you're under arrest. Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp.
Hey, move it! Easy there. Looking for cargo here. We're trying to get these supplies on. to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got no authority here. Real Lamont State <laughs> government's running this road. Move along if you know what's smart. <laughs> yeah. Fellas are crazier than me. I know you. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We well, have great powers of observation. It's my people if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, now, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah.
Okay. <laughs> Happy to, you know. Oh, you kind, mister. <laughs> if he uh, be so kind to take me to LeGras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust him much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life I bet. Horse don't help much in LeGras. 
You know, horse can swim fine as a duck, be much more used to us. Last horse we bucked, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time and could come back with a rifle on him. Honest, no word of lie. Easy. Sure it's the horse is the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legras? Well, that's how nice it is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. We getting close. Don't die or not. Okay. Here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animals.
Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? 
Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. You hear about the massacre over at the trolley station in San Denis? Howdy there. Welcome. I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business. Be seeing you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. Whoa. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I did... Look out! Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind. Forget that. It's gone. 
You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hit town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? Is he in camp? Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Mm -hmm. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. Should be one more number. Last number. Come on. Good 
54. Okay, I'm in. Would you look at that? <laughs> well, well, well. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on!
Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. See if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Just like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp, they're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the dock. Just, I hear voices. Take your tents. Everyone stay now. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. Should have had them in the last one. That won't happen again. We can't stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Look out on the left. Stay low. Check the trains. You did? 
no more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. See there? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? 
hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat. You come on! <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you.
You're alive. Are you? No puede you're, you're alive. <laughs> Are there? Here's, okay. here's a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. <laughs> we are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 That means move! You've got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to see the crowd. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la casa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What are you thinking? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrección. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. Todos.
Damn. Reinforcements. What? Yeah. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fevit, everyone, follow me. Please, Fevit, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose pace, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. What you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusor? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But, I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. He will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> 